What up? Uh, today's been the longest day ever. Um, I think it's still Saturday, like 4.04. .04. Um, anyways, I'm making this video blog, the vlog, in response to all the criticisms that I've gotten. Everybody shooting me down. I say, shove it, I'm going to make another one. Except for Ryan. Ryan, you're very courageous in leading this charge against the whatever we're going against. Anyways, I have a few things to talk about. Let me go get my uh, stuff real quick. Alright, I just wanted to point out my grocery list that I gotta go get today. Uh, six important things. Teddy Grahams, lettuce, milk duds, milk, peanut butter, and Doritos. And without those things, my life would be incomplete. Also, I just wanted to say that while I was working today at Kyle Field, uh, it was close to the end of the shift that we were doing, and this old man came walking by, and he was, you know, looking at all the vendors. The Coca-Cola was sold out of everything that they had. Surprisingly, they had a monopoly on everything, and this old man was, he was dying. He was, oh, oh, I'm so thirsty. And that's probably the best impersonation I can do, but he looks over um, towards the on-the-border little tent we got set up, and he's like, you guys got any water? And I was like, I got two bottles of water. And he goes, well, can I have them? And I was like, give me your ticket, old man. I'll give you this water. And he looks at me, and he was like, you know, he's he's obviously the ticket's important to him, or he would have not considered it. And he's, he said, deal. And so I was, <laughs> all right. And so I got the ticket, and it's, you know, you go up and you get a headache from lack of oxygen, and your nose starts bleeding, and that's why they call it the nosebleeds. And I went after I got off of work, and the crowd was, it was awesome. Everybody was in maroon, and I left early. I didn't have time to stay, and um, I thought that was pretty cool. I, I robbed an old man for water. <laughs> um, next up is the presidential debates were on recently I don't know what day I don't pay attention but it's you know it's McCain versus Obama and no one takes into consideration Bob Barr and oh I mean they shouldn't he's not gonna win but you know I think that both McCain John McCain the geriatric who needs a walker to get from the airplane to the freaking airport you know and then Obama who's uh, obviously an NBA all-star as shown by his ESPN clips or you know they're just complete opposites and there's really no place for me to vote in the middle and that kind of disturbs me but you know whatever like I just won't vote how's that you know I'll do my civic duty by not doing my civic duty <laughs> whatever that's my take on McCain versus Obama they're both worthless so they're both the same anyways you know that brings me to another point you know when people call everybody's got caller ID like everybody so you know, I know who's calling me, and if I don't, then, you know, why are you calling me? But then, why do you leave a voicemail? That takes, you know, two minutes out of my time to have to listen to your voicemail and then press 7 to delete your voicemail that I didn't want to hear in the first place. Why would you waste my time? I just don't understand it, and that has really bothered me all day. Because I got, like, four voicemails today, and I had to stop what I was doing, you know, act like I cared. Ugh. My studying habits have improved. Not by a lot, though, I guess. Also, we have a new segment on our show. Quote of the day. I love this quote. It's a good one. I don't know what this spoon's doing here. This, anyway, the quote. Never take life seriously because no one gets out alive anyways. Yeah. And now... Uh, I don't know how long this video is going for. I can't really see the time anywhere. I guess about five minutes. But I'm going to explain a few things to you guys. First of all is why I love ESPN. They're informative. They're always biased, usually towards um, my teams, which I love. Except the Rangers. They, the Rangers take a lot of crap for being not so good. But the Cowboys are good. The Stars are good. The Mavericks are a huge disappointment. They were good. Um, and another thing I love is they're usually wrong about their predictions, in which case, if I'm right, 
I can do a little dance and rub it in, and that always makes my day. And, you know, just proves how right I am and how I should go work for ESPN and write wrong predictions so that somebody else can do a uh, dance. <laughs> um, also, another thing is I would like to explain why I like driving a piece of crap car. I'm never worried about, you know, trees falling on it or getting door dinged or, you know, even running into somebody because it's not going to make it look any worse than it already does. And plus, when I go on dates and when I get out of the car, the ladies are usually pleasantly surprised because they think that when I get out of the car, I'm going to look like, you know, Sasquatch and a serial killer. I win both ways. That's good. And so everybody should go out and buy, like, a 1993 Honda Civic that looks like it's been car bombed in Iraq just so that you can f experience the same emotions that I feel every time I go out to work or to school and have everybody look at my car like I just got out of Brian. It's about how that goes. Also I'd like to explain to you why I look the way I do. First of all, look at my shirt. Dude! It's an awesome shirt. Second of all, I haven't shaved in like four days and that's a problem because I get tipped based on my appearance pretty much most of the time. And if I don't shave, then they're wondering why David Duchovny is delivering their enchiladas. And that's a problem for me, too. Um, and my hair's not combed. I haven't got a haircut. I was, I canceled the hair salon appointment. How ridiculous is that? You know, I don't know if this was as funny as the first one. I don't even know if the, funny one, the first one was funny. But uh, this is just my life and how boring my life is and I try and make that at least a little bit more comical for the rest of you so that um, when you're thinking about your life you say oh my life isn't that bad John's life sucks so let's laugh at John's life for a little bit then then everybody everybody wins in that one too just like me driving a really bad car and I think that's all I have to say today I would also like to let's do let's do some shout outs you know like they do on the radio like uh, Candy 95.1 every day hey girl Rhonda you're my girl going out tonight, Rhonda! And you're like, holy crap, turn on the radio. Rhonda, I hope you're listening. This is embarrassing. Anyways, shout-outs. I'd like to make a shout-out to Ryan for making a kick-ass video and saving the, me for being the only one embarrassed. And I'd like to thank Video Blogs for making a comeback in the Facebook world and making a revolution. I'd also like to make a shout-out to the old kicker. Still kicking for a while. Um, and I think that's all I got to do today. So y'all take it easy. Have a good weekend. Uh, don't work unless, unless you can avoid it. Um, other than that, I'm out.